Hey, greetings everyone. It's a, uh, it is what, Saturday, April 25th, 2020. We are in a shelter in place mode. So I had one of the most inconvenient things happen to me while I'm trying to shelter in place. I've done a, I've done a couple videos on uh, some free PlayStation games that are available and I enjoyed them. Um, but it was about a week and a half ago that my PlayStation just died, right? And it was, uh, it's several years old. I don't remember when I got it, but I rely on it for uh, I rely on it for streaming video in my living room, and also I play some games on it. So it's been a pretty quiet couple of weeks while I've waited for a replacement hard drive to arrive. Because as it turns out, that's what the problem was. It was a uh, the hard drive just died, and uh, I went through a couple. I did a couple of things before I ordered a new hard drive. I tried to update, you know, I downloaded a file onto my computer, copied the file to an external USB and then plugged that into the PlayStation so that it could load from a, an update file. That didn't work. Then I downloaded the base uh, operating system image file to a USB storage device, plugged that into the PlayStation so that it would have booted up. It could look and try to install the base operating system image, which it could not do, and that's when I knew I had to get a new hard drive. And I had never replaced a hard drive in a PlayStation before. Uh, I didn't, wasn't too interested in doing that. I can say I've replaced a fair number of hard drives just in regular computers in my life, uh, and they're not terribly complicated, right? Once you kind of know where they are and how to tear a computer apart to put them in, it's relatively easy. So I suspected that this would be easy. Uh, I did want to share how easy it was. So I, I videotaped some of it. And, uh, you know, I think the hardest part was taking the case off. Because it, I, I assumed there would be some screws, but it's not, even, it's not even that complicated. You just have to, like, pry it a little bit, and this plastic piece pops off. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a, a quick walkthrough, uh, tearing, it, tearing it apart, replacing the hard drive. Uh, and then we'll, uh, you'll see how I load the, the, the new operating system in. It'll all happen real fast, uh, but it was worthwhile, and it, I just wanted to share it. I did, I did figure it out by watching a YouTube video, right? So there's, there's much better, higher quality walkthrough videos if you want some more details. But as it turns out, it's not, it's not even, it, it doesn't require much more than figuring out how to take the case out. Once you figure out how to open up the case, the rest is kind of uh, pretty easy peasy. So. Hope you get some use out of this. I'm definitely happy to have my PlayStation back and available. I'm still in the process of downloading stuff to it, but you know, we'll get there. So uh, here it is. This is a hard drive arrived in the mail this week so that I can get my PS4 back working. I did open up, I opened up the, the packaging. Um, so I've already done that, but let's see what we bought. It's funny because I purchased something else off Amazon and this came with it. I didn't even realize it until my wife said something. Let's see. It's a Seagate 2 terabyte Fire Cuda. All right. Yeah, I bought this off Amazon. It was 70 bucks around there. Not too bad. All right, this is what we're going to replace in the PlayStation 4. Okay, so here's my trusty PlayStation 4, a little dusty. Um, so I, I watched a video on YouTube. Sure enough, these things just come right off pretty easily. Uh, so it's just the, the, the small casing on the side. It's gonna just pop right off and work it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, seems like it's in there good. It is on there good, but uh, it comes off fairly easy. <clears throat> Got my trusty, uh, what is this? Uh, Coglins. Yeah, it's kind of like a Leatherman, probably a cheaper version though. Right, you need a small little Phillips. That's what this is gonna take. 
Looks like there's one screw holding the hard drive casing in. I'm going to take that out. Came off pretty easy. <clears throat> yep, that popped right out. Uh, I'm going to vacuum it a little bit. All right, with the hard drive out, with well, the hard drive case out, there's it looks like there's four screws holding this little guy in. We're gonna don't lose that screw. There we go, 500 gigabytes, <clears throat> failed drive. Right. Same size. All right, let's bolt this thing in. It is, <clears throat> it does have to float a little bit, so you gotta elevate the drive with your thumb. Get it started. Get the holes to line up. Screw. Let's see if that's gonna, if that locks in there. Nope, I put it in upside down. So note that it pays attention to, <clears throat> pays attention to, uh, it, it pays off to pay attention to what side of the hard drive is up when you take it out. It should have been this side. That's what it wants. Okay, let's tighten them up. Pop that in. Put the screw back in place. It's not the best tool in the world, but it'll work. Okay. All right, I've got to give it to those Sony engineers for making that a super easy hard drive to replace. All right, let's put the case back together. Wow, that's it, that was easy. Now we're gonna go and load the software. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can get the PS4 to load from the 
load from the USB drive connected to it, pull in the uh, operating system file. Cannot start. Okay, we have the USB plugged in. Let's hit the PS4. <clears throat> yep, it does. All right, let's see. Fingers crossed. New hard drive. Please. All right. Well, while it's oh, yep, yeah, I'm sure. Well, this is this is promising. The dead hard drive would not do this. And that was it. I had some do. I had to do some uh, downloading, some configuration, and connected to the Wi-Fi, all that stuff. Charged one of my charger, my my paddles. Uh, have to reinstall a lot of games. Even the games that I have on disc require lots of downloads. So I'm in that process now. But it was a. Uh, it was pretty easy you saw the most difficulty seemed to be with me taking the case the top of the case off and then me figuring out how to pay attention when I'm disassembling the hard drive and putting it back in its place but all in all it was a pretty painless process definitely cheaper than trying to buy a new one it is ironic that the PS5 is coming out uh, at the end of this year so that's all right I think it cost me 70 70 bucks or so to get the hard drive replaced took me maybe an hour total a lot of the video that you saw was, uh, I, I, I sped up the time because otherwise you're just sitting there watching me wait for things. But anyway, I'm happy to say I've got my PS4 back and running. I'm watching video on it, playing games on it, and uh, yeah, definitely add a little spice to my life. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it was helpful to you if, uh, if you find yourself having a hard drive failure on a PS4. Uh, as always, uh, take care. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.